friends, let's dive into synthetic, uh, majestic roguelite. Roguelite, roguelike, you could debate and fight me on this. It's very full of action. Uh, it's great acclaim has accompanied this game. And it really didn't get enough uh, love when it was uh, when it was around. Uh, or, I mean, I, I say it in the past sense because now they're making Synthetic 2. They are making Synthetic 2. There are many classes, many loadouts. I think you'll like it, but it's very much like an action game. Not really one I would do on the main channel. But I just kind of like the style of and, and flow of this game. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, top-down view, go through a bunch of levels, be very tactical. There's many different classes in the game, though, too. Um, oh, wait a second. Oh, God, I, but I haven't played in a while, either. And I really didn't play a lot of it when it was... When it when I got it. Uh, oh, yeah, you gotta eject mags and then actually reload. So, it does respect the magazine system. I have a feeling I'm not playing particularly well, but we're gonna play as the Breacher class, which can actually kind of... Or what are we? Not the Breacher. We were just the Breacher. Siege. I think I'm so inexperienced that I can't really even tell which class I am. Um, but your goal is the same as in all games, is to get it to a place so that you can do a thing. The map comes... you know, you can figure that out. What should... what is there that hasn't been said about Synthetic, though? Um... I don't know, I just, I feel like not enough people have done it, because it's... I mean, I've seen it on those channels where they cover, like, a couple of roguelikes, a couple of roguelites every now and then. Uh, not really my main style, but... It's very engaging, very full of action, and the fact of the matter is that you could play it with your friends, which is just a blessing. Uh, Air Wraith. Hey, thank you very much for the sub, my friend. Again, I actually, uh... Yeah, let's just try to play the game well first. Uh, quick news update is that I haven't been putting out VODs or anything because uh, I've been on massive travels around the United States to see family and friends. Uh, and I'm going to be moving soon, so... Uh, might be a little bit... A little bit less frequently, uh, hey -oh, how the next the couple days. A? Hey, doing pretty well, thank you, Vixos. Yeah, so like I said, lots of family and friends. There's nothing quite, uh that refreshes you in quite the same way. But it's, uh, it's always time well spent. Um, I did run out of ammo, I believe, in one of my last playthroughs, but what do we have here? We have a some sort of pistol. We found a, something uh, called the Master Chief before, which, you know, anything that references Halo. Halo is another old favorite. Or just anything that kind of gives me that old feeling. That same Halo feeling, that Halo feeling that feels smelly is a gem. I actually did pick up the Halo games at the uh, Steam sale. Did you guys pick up the Steam summer sale is just ending today and Halo, I thought that it was $19 to own, like to begin to buy the Halo games. You know how they make you like buy the thing where then you could buy the individual games. No, that's like for all of the games. Oh, Jesus Christ. Morpheus. We have Morpheus here. No, it was actually a, a very good deal for Halo. Alright, so we have kind of like a Tony Hawk system for reloading your weapons, but... Uh, what is it? You do... I think you do get rid of the ammo in your magazine when you drop it, so you don't want to overdo that. If you go that. to the Syracuse Mall, I think they have a life-size Master Chief statue for like 5k or something. Is this true? I thought you meant like one on display, but do they have a lot of them that you could buy? I would. I, I was a Halo kid. Halo was just... Oh, God, it just came at that time. But there's a couple of first-person shooters like that that just are just pure fun, like Resistance Fall of Man. I was really sorry that they never ported those things over to, like, the place... Uh, to the PC. Those things remained in PlayStation-exclusive hell. And I say that out of no disrespect to the PlayStation, but out of, uh, rev reverie of the PC. Reverie? What word am I looking for here? You know what I mean with Tony Hawk? You know, like, Tony Hawk, uh... You remember how you would manual in Tony Hawk? And you played that- oh god, somebody's locking onto me. How you played that minigame when you wanted to do a manual? Yeah, that's- oh god. Stuff is very dangerous in this game, though, so I don't want to- Ah, god. Something. 
Like, if you do not pay attention for a couple of seconds, you will die. Like now. Here we are. Using cover, very smart. I am very smart. All right, this is, again, this isn't really my preferred play style. Uh, let's see, what should we do? Well, we should probably make better use of our other equipment. We've just been firing guns the whole time, and we're probably going to run out of ammo if we do- if we don't. Uh, let's use our credits. Now, how do we... How we do it like that? Heart Seeker. Uh, how many credits do we have? Again, this is like the Galactic Republic, right? Isn't the only thing that they use credits in Star Wars? Okay, here it is. Uh, well, we could use traps. We could use grenades. Let's try this on these gentlemen. Okay, that was some kind of, like, distraction grenade. Fantastic. Love distraction. Uh, how did that one get through there? Hmm. Oh, now we need to choose which weapon. Jammed. But we have only nine bullets left. A uh, fan of knives of, again, uh, orb of iron? Well, I've got that other orb following me around, so let's just take this. A psionic sphere with the ability to launch itself at enemies, dealing direct damage, stunning and bouncing multiple times. Hover over items for item controls. Why is my power decreasing? Ooh, this is... Ah, uh, yeah, this is one of the things that launches bombs on me. All uh, right, now we're out of ammo, unfortunately, and this has been the end of several of my playthroughs. Why are these... Those are coming after me, right? Yep, I'm... Are those mine? Legit don't know, I... Wait a minute, if I just stay here... Oh, those are on my side, so yes, it's the Binding of Isaac. But with, uh... Basically way more badass technology. Anyway, what I was getting at with the whole Halo comparison is just the fact that, like... Halo is... Ah, oh, God. You remember when you first played Halo and it just felt... It just felt cool. It was fast, it was gunplay, it was everything you ever wanted in a game. I still get that same feeling here, but I don't anticipate I'll ever get that again with, like, some kind of FPS. Unless if it's something that lets you manipulate time, like, you remember Singularity, that FPS? Yes, the most suspenseful minigame of childhood, the Tony Hawk Manual. And I pity kids who like, played skateboarding games after- though were those skate games good? I found that they were very realistic, and that made them less fun, because, uh... You know, as a kid, if you would play Tony Hawk before you actually did skate, if you were- if you had the privilege of skateboarding, um, you know, real skateboarding just seemed far more anticlimactic. Reflects the direct incoming bullet damage as the original- Well, that could be good, basically just, uh, hopefully that will always work. All right, let's see though. We can choose some... Yeah, let's go to a normal sector because I'm not quite good at this game. Hmm. <clears throat> Got Syracuse. I haven't thought of... Not since college football had I thought of Syracuse. Though, Vic, you know, in reference to your, uh, and to your bit donation from before... No, we did spend some time in Albany. I've never been to Albany. But yeah, the whole trip to Chicago kind of just made me want to do uh, more more trips. You know, I uh, haven't had as much time for it, but it'll be nice to kind of get out more. Uh, travel really is a good way to just broaden your... Oh god, we're gonna... Here I am talking about traveling. I right, just keep on moving, even if we're running out of ammo. But yeah, you deal with gun jams and other garbage like this. So just one of the least... Skate 3 was amazing. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was, but I couldn't experience it without the context of Tony Hawk in the rear view mirror. 900ing. That spinning man. God, what a crazy thing to be famous for. I spun two and a half times. Very famous. Tony Hawk. No, I don't. That is actually an extremely difficult feat. Though I did see that there was a little kid who did, uh, what was it, a 1080. Like, over the last couple- oh god, I took some damage there. Yeah, there was a kid who did a 1080 on a skateboard. I wasn't, like, knocking what Tony Hawk did, because I've seen some kids at the skate park. Uh, the one near me, who are insanely good. But they do things that adult men could not do, because they're just that light. 
Like, they will glide off of the coping completely innocuously, you know? No bruises. That's just to say that... God damn it. That's just to say that Synthetic has that same badass thing that skateboarding does. Upgrade item, uh, no, this, uh, you know, we haven't done any item upgrades yet. Yes, we can upgrade more. Very yes, very yes. Now, what would I, what item was that? Auto taser fires a taser projectile after a slight delay, stunning and damaging a target when hit. I assume that that is working passively for me. Now again, still we have yet to kind of customize our loadout, but let's just see though, if we eject a mag, we were at, what was it, 222, now if I eject this one, 220, uh, did I actually run lower on bullets? Nah. Now I liked playing as the sniper class, gotta say, but my only, the only place with which I took quarrel with the sniper, God damn it. To quarrel with the sniper class was the fact that I couldn't always uh, reload right away. All right, yeah. Uh, but now we've got a compact tank, so I think we actually did get to one of the boss levels. We didn't mess up like I did in all my other playthroughs. Two and a half times in the air. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, Tony Hawk, but very successful businessman. Don't really know anything about him as a person. I followed him on Instagram for a while. You know, you get tired of watching everyone talking about how they're working out and how, how good they look. But skateboarders are like, look at how much I messed up my hand today. You know, like, that was very comforting after a hard day of work. You know? All you really want to hear about is people who are in more pain than you as you're coming home on the train. Oh god. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need some more traps. Let's lay down some bear traps. God knows why this gentleman has so many bear traps. Alright, now I'm just getting low on everything. Not even really low, just... Ah, there we are. Alright. So we've got a tank on this floor. Now, I guess I'll get kind of into a little bit philosophical here, if you don't mind my saying. I feel as though in these types of games, whatever commentary I have, it's kind of useless because it's just like a game game, you know? Oh, Jesus Christ, hang on a second. This thing really does mean business as it turns out. Why am I suddenly slower? Am I more like encumbered with this? Getting the feeling now that I would have been better- Oh, Jesus, the tank has decided to stay behind me. I would be very surprised if we made it through this level. What even is this weapon? Ah, oh, we gotta unjam it. Yeah! World of tanks. World of tanks. Oh, fantastic. Tony Hawk of RimWorld. Best clutch is, um, hmm. Mm, that's some Gears of War. Yeah, it's like, it has that same, remember when Gears came out and it was like, it had that kind of badass vibe? Like you had to fight your controller to get the gun to reload and all that kind of garbage. This game has that same thing and it's it has that swagger of like, I'm cool because I know more about guns than other games let on. You know? Because that does feel good. At least to me, a city person. Mm, use shift and then be- I have not been using this dash. Anyway, a long ago I did try to actually create a video for the channel uh, with this game in it. But it was kind of like, uh... It was kind of like watching some really trippy acid hallucination because everything was just like so glowy and fast and all over the place. It's very jarring to watch a highly edited video on synthetic. And I was playing at a much faster pace than two, which was getting me killed, I will also say, far more frequently. Um, but this is probably a better way to play the game. 
Now what is this? Are you- Oh, you are against me and not with me. Key needed. We could be making better use of these floors. And I still feel as if I have yet to discover, like, how we could really upgrade our character much. Didn't we have, like, a kiosk or something at which we could trade in our money? In the future, the only currency is Dogecoin. Ah, uh, Scout DMR. Okay, we have enough monies for that. Let's do that. Uh, but what else do we have? Uh, Scout D... Uh, that actually looks... Flame Tongue A. Eh? We don't have the money, unfortunately. This one is just called simply Damnation. It's kind of badass. I would like to get some of those other ones, but it looks like the DMR is going to be all that I have for right now. Did I buy it? I said yes. Oh, it is on the ground. Whoops. Oops, a daisy. Oops, a daisy. But every gun looks kind of cool. They actually have model. I don't know how this comes out. Like, just looking at the game's graphics, too, I'm just puzzled. Like, I don't see other games like this. Hmm. Clearly, we've made it somewhere important. I've actually never made it to this part of the game. I'll press X on the gun. Thank you. Starting damage control. Uh, hmm. Is this my DMR? Oh, this is not my DMR. Okay, we've made it to a boss battle. Let's just use all of our... Press all of the buttons. Put bear traps down for him. Nope, those... And my health is critical. I guess I should be using these things to... Ah, that is some ammo there. Ah, you can press X on the gun to get more information about it. Wish I had seen that before. Let's just keep running this sort of direction. And the reloading game. It's a lot of stuff to look at, though. It's kind of like juggling with your eyes. And I am stepping on barbed wire. That wasn't very clearly marked, in my opinion. But we did defeat the boss. Only to probably get killed by one of his underlings. No, we actually did quite well. Is this like the first level of the uh, Halo ring? <sighs> I don't know why I'm just getting that vibe from it. Increases damage of currently held weapon allows building of one of the many varied attachments. Grants a selection of three. Okay, so this is fantastic. Love oh, your content. Useful. Also, do you have a VODs channel? Ah, oh, thank you very much, Big Shrimp at Seven. Appreciate the 500 bits. Yes, in fact, I do. Uh, we'll make our way over there sometime. Now, is there, like, just some score to tell me how each... This one has a literal floppy disk on it. This is inter... I keep learning more about customizing stuff in this game. Which one do we have the most ammo for? I feel like we should go off of that. Okay, the pistol, we're probably going to be stuck with it for a while, so I'm going to go upgrade that. Oh! Choices. Silver bullet alloy, five additional... Five percent additional damage. Uh, magazine capacity can only be reload. Well, we don't want to use up all the bullets, so we'll just go for damage, right? Maximum amount of spare ammo and grants slightly faster ejection speed might be useful. Use the fire rate, but in damage by 20%. But uh, no, I don't like that. Damage again to least enemies and bosses. Uh, we probably won't be using it against them. Let's just increase the magazine capacity. I feel like that's pretty useful. Well, whatever, I'll take it. Barbed wire and sea wire have not... I mean, there's so many other objects. It's like a binding of Isaac, yet with slightly less uh, indicatory ba uh, graphics. It just charges a stunning lightning strike, which also strips all shields of one close enemy. God, I've really got to master these passives, because it seems like you could do a lot of work there. But where do we see our mag size? Is it 19? Mm, okay, let's see if we heal somehow. Did we leave something on this boss floor? Maybe we did. But again, this is uh, learning, so, you know, it's... I'm just kind of enjoying... I'm not trying to try hard this right now. Oh my god, a Lego set is coming after me. That's like the Anakin Skywalker uh, fighter from Star Wars. You remember that thing? And then he did it, in the words of Palpatine. Scour the ground, there's ammo and healing around there. Ah, like, more ammo on the ground? God, look, this is tar this is a Lego. Everything is not awesome, Lego set. 
Everything is not great when you're part of a team. Necessarily. Not necessarily. But I don't know, it kind of feels like, you remember when you were a little kid and you would play with Legos and you would find like all of the badass gear that came in the Lego set? And then you would imagine adventures for them. Anyway, this was my childhood. Lots of Legos. Um, we had that fortune. That was that was the one luxury that mother afforded um, growing up. But let's see. Uh, more on Legos. Yeah, it kind of feels like playing as a badass Lego guy. Except it's kind of one-dimensional because you're doing a lot of just fighting. Okay, here we are. Am I able to... That was not smart. Oh god, what is this? The authorities are... The authorities are coming. Let's switch back over to this. What Switching... Is my friend? Mm, what is this? Hey, drunk, what's up, my brother? Jesus Christ. How are you? I don't know, we were just kind of going over my trip from Chicago, but... I heard about your big trip coming up, so I feel solidarity with your car ride. Legos in Minecraft was childhood. What didn't Notch base Minecraft off of? Uh, Legos? I think that was his, uh, I think that was his inspiration there, so that wouldn't be all that far off. Hmm. Do wish you could have that. Actually, can I get that mini-map up next to me? Here, I now am in the escape screen. Am I able to customize the heads-up display? Show FPS, V-Sync, dynamic FPS. Mm, where is my map display option? Heavy MG. Well, anyway, I didn't do this. Are we going to be able to buy anything? Ah, pressurized impaler. That seems... Yes. That seems very yes. I'm just going to try to get a sense of a lot of different things. What is this, some sort of shotgun? It'd be nice if you could zoom in on your character, but... I think they're creating synthetic, too. People weren't so happy with the demo, I heard, but, you know, they kind of, like... Oh, Jesus. This one has, like, a wind-up. Like, you gotta hold it down. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, too, but I do... First weapon part, one out of four. But I do must say... That having everything on one hand for movement and reloading is a little, uh, is a little bit jarring. Maybe there's a way to remap some of them to your map. To your oh, God! To your right hand for the reloading. Ah, uh, you can do that. Mm, this seems a little, a little sus. He says attacking before he attacks. Personally? Personally, I think that would kind of be giving things away. Yeah, John Wick in 007. Ah, you know, I never actually played GoldenEye 007. And I feel like a slob for not doing it. Multiplier, chance to get double ammunition from ammo pickups. Uh, well, that would make this gun much more useful. Bare bone allocators. Losing shields grants ammo, rege ammo regeneration. It's like there's so much stuff going on that I can't even keep track of it. This is the sense of bottomlessness I get from this game. This is the lay, uh... Double ammo would be good just because it would make this gun useful because we don't really have much ammo left. Uh, let's see how much we get from this 12. Oh, oh, very wow. You have gun. But again, I don't really know what I'm fighting. Just robots that don't like other robots? Am I a robot? Am I a man? Still lots of questions, but most of them I don't really feel the need to answer. I'll probably just end up watching the Seth review again because it was very good. I enjoyed it a lot. Alright game, I get it. Shift, middle mouse button to dash. I'm doing it. I probably should really be emphasizing this dodge more though. That seems useful. Now it seems as though we've reached an impasse here. There is nothing else to do on this floor, so let's just keep on kind of heading over to the other one. GoldenEye 007 did not age well. Yeah, nothing on the Nintendo 64 really aged well with those graphics. Things like, uh, what was it? 
Link to the Past. Anything with Super Nintendo or that type of graphics. Pixel art is really an art unto itself. Hence, pixel art. No one calls it... Low poly... I guess you do have low poly style. And that is sort of an art unto itself. They can make it age well, but a lot of the things from the... Uh, Nintendo 64 era certainly did not age well. I would agree with that. They're still fun, though. I don't know, maybe because I grew up with them. And some of those kind of, like, janky-looking PlayStation 1 graphics for 3D, uh, 3D games do, do be doing well on places like itch.io. Offering to the Machine God, Curse of the Flesh. I've never even seen this. Curse of the Ignorant. I... Tribute of Flesh, I have plenty of bodily fluids to give there. Upgrade kit, what is, uh, what happened here? Alright, uh, sold my soul. Sold my soul. Ah, oh, we can get all of these upgrades. Okay, so let's just keep on doing that. That seems good. Yeah, polygon, or low polygon art. Mm. Ah, yeah, Star Sector was actually another one. You know, I'd really like to dig in for Star Sector, though. Spent a lot of time with CDDA while I was away from home. CDDA is fantastic, but it's really strange to just be on a plane playing CDDA because I had a keyboard in my lap and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I was kind of judging myself a little bit more. I was like, I'm pretty cool playing, but it brought me back to just being a child. <laughs> Remember when you were a kid and you had like a Game Boy? And there was just all this stuff you needed for it. I'm talking before backlit screens. Like, uh, do you remember those things that they sold for Game Boy Color? Where you could actually, like, hook a light onto your Game Boy Color? This guy, this is a Lego. This is yet another Lego. Okay, we gotta unjam this. Maybe from being a guitarist, I am good with the left hand, but God, no. It is kind of like playing a guitar. There's too much too much in the left hand though on the controls in this game. Jesus Christ, how am I supposed to Right, use press all the buttons. Uh whoops, accidentally started upgrading something. That one had more HP than the others. Alright, but that was farther than I ever expected to. Anyway, and this kind of brings me into the upgrading in the game. Pressed the wrong button at the wrong time, but I always found these characters very, like, quickly... Quickly would die. But that is probably because I'm bad. Uh, did, did it try to give me... Unjamming additionally reloads the weapon and grants high weapon... I don't even know that this exists in the game. So like I said, there's so much to do, so much to see. But I'm gonna play as another class, because there are classes that I prefer. Um... And I, and I would like to show you. A little light, one more up. I mean, there's so much to do. I did get level 3 in Sniper, which was... I think I was at 2 with Guardian, was what I was before. Survives long fights face-to-face -face with his defensive shield, charge attack, and his battle cry ability. Uh, now, I do much prefer playing as a Sniper, just because I kind of prefer... Uh, on the one hand, I do wish that it were actually, like, an FPS in some ways. I think this game would be really cool as an FPS. But I think we have things like RoboQuest and Gunfire Reloaded. What do we unlock as the default weapons? Silence pistols, mostly. What is this? Okay. Uh, but you can start with different loadouts, so there's, like, endless customization. There's plenty of incentive to keep playing. Um, let's see if we can actually customize something interesting here. Testing, uh, we have loadout. Targeting laser starting item. Laser trail and drastically increases... Decreases weapon recoil. This is important because that recoil really does get you killed. Uh, we have potentially different weapons though here. Can we spend our credits on this? Yeah, we have 624 data. So big data is king. Random module. What are our module options? Hi, SoCal Sweet. How are you, my friend? And double A stream. Oh hell yeah! Love to see it. How goes it? It goes pretty well, SoCal. Thank you, my friend. Just got back from a big trip. But, uh, more on that in a bit. Every five inflicted headshots. Now, this is the crazy thing, is that headshots exist in this game. 
50% chance of refunding bull one bullet to spare ammo and refresh. So I'm going to go ahead and say... Ooh. Let's play as something that is kind of like a tanky sniper. Normally I would play as a not tanky sniper, but I am not a fantastic player at this. Perfection. Every five inflicted headshots passively increases critical strike chance. Oh, wow. Crit bonuses stack up to ten times. That seems like it could be pretty strong, though. So let's take that instead. This thing, like, upgrades as you get more headshots. So let's just kind of stand still and get a lot of headshots. And we'll play more slowly this Ready. time. I wanted to show you the way that Synthetic is most popularly played. But this time we're a sniper, so we have to use the edge of our screen. And this is the one gripe I have, is that it's just like, you gotta go, so... But I'm fantastic at clicking heads. See, that must have been a headshot. Is there any way to review it after? Oh, that guy doesn't have a head, however. I'm pretty sure that was a headshot, but okay. But the problem with the sniper class that I found was just the fact that uh, you gotta move. You gotta dodge. You can't just, like, stand there. That's why we needed that freeze power. But again, we're managing this, like, Master Chief in Halo 1. He overheating slows down firing, causes damage affected by varied modules. So let's try... Reloading that, but how does this improve our weapon mastery? This system is still a little bit, uh, mysterious to me. Yes. Very good. This one still has the dash ability, so maybe we'll depend on that. Do I think that the game is worth a buy? I think, um... It has enough content to be worth it. I think if you enjoy fast-paced games like this and action like that... Um, and probably watch Seth's review on it, because m by by all means, that's probably the greatest thing that anyone has done. Now, what is this? Is this the Wallace and Gromit game? Nah. Um, no, I like it. I do enjoy it. It was worth my money. Um, my only kind of disappointment is that Synthetic 2 is coming out, so I was like, ah, oh, I thought they would just kind of keep doing it for the one. But he had a good review on that. I don't know, I don't really feel like it needs a big formula reinvention. I just think it's great. Um, but I could see it feeling a little bit repetitive, only because we tend to play games that are, like, overly intellectualized on my channel, you know? And that's one of the reasons why I've made this VOD channel and the uh, done more streams, just to do stuff that's more action-oriented. If you like roguelites, if you like the feeling of upgrade, if you want to get into the whole gun system, that's where I could see it would get very, like, involved... If you're into that, which I presume that you are. Human model 9800. Okay, so now we just got our hands on a snipper. A pair of snippers. The mastery does nothing but look good. Hmm. Like it makes the gun look good? Do I know if Project Zomboid is ever going to add UI scaling? It seems like a game that's right. There might be a mod for it. I don't know. There's usually mods for that kind of thing. But that's one I don't know off the top of my head. Hmm. Now, this is the type of thing I'd like to take more advantage of. Like, you know, silenced weapon. Perhaps sneak? Also a little tricky to check your line of sight at times. But did that just alert that one? Apparently, yes. But who is this above me? I have, like, the Star Destroyer, like, a miniature Star Destroyer above me, sabotaging me at every goddamn moment. Oh, I could have used that laser pointer. So amaze. Very amaze. What was that? Is this a trap? Probably that was a trap. I shouldn't have walked over those things, but, you know, you gotta do your research so that you can live better in your next life. 20% ammo gain. Oh, 60 shield max. Okay, I'm starting to get the health in combat systems better. Like I said, it's been a while, but the more you can max out those shields, the less they can take off of your main health bar. Did I ever play Noida? Yeah, we did a little bit of Noida uh, a couple weeks ago. It's a fantastic game. We'd go back to it. We'd go crying back to Noida. Oh, ooh, Ah, uh, that was unfavorable. 
Hang on a moment. What is what? We, wait, what just even happened? I missed that. I missed the announcement. Hello. Uh, I should have given him the intro video. Hello. God, how did hello become my intro? Everyone's like, I love it how you say hello at the beginning of the video. Some people, some... Nobody's ever told me that it annoys them, so I continue to do it. Not in all the videos. <laughs> all the other intros are like, hey, everybody. Like a really cringy intro. I'd love a really cringy intro, you know? That'd be fantastic. Weapon Mastery does literally nothing. Very big sad. Very big sad. Uh, ooh, we ran out of ammo and everything. Ooh. God, we have... What do these things look... Two enormous blue balls coming for me. Now, what are these things doing? These flying saucers. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Just confused still who's a friend and who's an enemy, but I like the art style. That's... It's almost as if it's claymation or something. Clay Aiken. You know, remember Clay Aiken? And his fabulous career. Really a fabulous career. <laughs> fabulous career. He did. He had a fantastic career. Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay, I wonder how many people will even get that uh, reference. Do we get Clay Aiken? gonna be a story like my Project Zomboid videos. Again, I would say you can't really make much story out of, uh... Ah, you know, this just occurred to me, kind of. Maybe because Spiff recently just did a video on this. It was a very well thought out video. But it was about, uh, how games that allow you to create your own story do better as far as YouTube videos go, because every YouTube video that's kind of caught on on my channel has featured some sort of narrative. You know, things like Crusader Kings, or even we were talking about this, like, the RimWorld update. And there's kind of a reason why I can't really do synthetic on the main channel. Is because there's not really a lot of story here. You know, maybe somebody like uh, Grey still plays or like a Dangerously Funny. Like, people who do content that's kind of like over the top could see more in this. And I'd like to be able to see more in that, but I can't. What did we get, a nail gun? What is, what is this? A hunter. Let's just fire it. This is like some kind of taser. Tranquilizer dart. It's like an unlimited capacity nail gun. It's not a very good weapon, but it... It gets the job done. Taking damage from this. We're not taking... It's just slowing us. That's good. But when you're trying to be a sniper, it is a little bit uh, frustrating to have a little buddy who keeps... Uh, like insisting on firing at everybody for you. I wonder if I can turn him off or something. Narrative videos are definitely the favorite ones. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I, I like them. At times, I do want to just play something that's, like, very full of action. So that's why we have this. But you know, overall, whenever I can get really into the narrative, that's... I, too, have a good time with that. Always here... Everyone's here for the Clay Aiken references, yes. Came here exclusively for Clay Aiken. What is what is this now? Some sort of flashbang? Grenaden? Hmm. Biting, throwing stars, acid tipped. How do now though? How do now though? Weapon slots have a ch uh, shots have a chance to unleash acidic throwing stars, causing stacking acid damage over duration. Okay, so if any time that they have this kind of page refresh symbol, I assume that that means that uh, it's passive. 15% shoots chance to not consume ammunition when fired. Uh, reduce recoil when standing still, but does not affect recoil while moving. Okay, adds full bullet enemy penetration or increases penetration. Hmm. This would be useful, but I think that this is better just because we're going to need a lot of ammo. Chance of no ammo cost. I mean, 15% of no ammo use is pretty good. But we're really going to need to up our reload speed. Or just have a weapon that automatically reloads somehow. 
Okay, so I did not flashbang myself quite as badly this time, so let's just walk up and shoot him in the face. Dandy. Mm, yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah. This is why I am not a big fan of the sniper, though. Look what is happening with these missiles. Ah, uh, could I turn them against him? Nah, I can't do that. Clay Aiken is the guy. Clay Aiken, uh, American Idol. Remember Clay Aiken? Got everything just, everything just turns into, that's the meta. That's what will follow up the hot tub meta on Twitch, is just the Clay Aiken meta. Nah, I think that was in the Benchwarmers, right? Remember that line? I always thought some millionaire lived here, but I thought it was like Clay Aiken or something. I do like that movie. Press X. Oh, for the gun, for the gun information. That was helpful, yeah. You know, just getting like detailed specs, just getting everything kind of in front of you. So what I should really check right here, and I'm gonna kind of do right now, is just... Mm, is there a way to remap some of the controls? I didn't want to uh, reload. What is our reload? Space. Ah, you can reload and eject with space as well. See, this is news to me, because then I can use my thumb for reloading. Ah, this is a much more rational way to play the game, because re before that I was using E and R, which kind of takes your fingers off of the directional movement buttons. That was not good. But I think now that I've done a couple of playthroughs, like, decently, I feel like I have a better idea of the type of build I might like for this character. Flashbang, got out of the way, kept it from my sight lines. This is just a lie, this hologram. Somehow that worked. Oh, that was a that was very much a head. Jesus. Yeah, and if you don't reload right, then you get totally messed up. Now, what do these do? These don't do anything. They're just target dummies. All right, very well, very well. Can we get? Oh yes, Clay Aiken in a hot tub. We would need to make that a guest stream if he would allow that. Well, uh, let's see. Upgrading the red dot. Or what else can we upgrade? The flashbang or the... What is what is this even doing for me, this other one? Just having better information on my stuff would help. Mm, that wasn't what I meant to do. Ah, so you can waste ammo. Okay, now I understand this part. Why am I not able to get the weapon information here? Alright, whatever. We'll just upgrade things a little bit at random. Our red dot decreases our probably shouldn't have done quite that much, but now we are just going to have no recoil whatsoever. Or so help me God. Yep, that was pretty recoilless. Shield boost, thank you. Alright, this is this is a far better way to play the game, but a lot of it I will say is I fought the controls a little bit when I first started. Ah, that is something. Level five class talent unlocked. Now, the thing that kind of keeps me going through with it is much like in any other roguelite, where you do improve from playthrough to playthrough, so that feels good. Ah, see as well? Oh, this is very good to have this information. Ah, so we have shields regen as well. Thank you very much. I did not try this as well as terror level. Is this GTA or something? What did I do to you? Hmm. Tactics. Oh, I didn't even need to do anything to that guy. I suppose if we were just smart with the flashbangs, we could probably slowly make our way through the floors. But there's also other crazy stuff going on. Like, I think that some surfaces you can fire through. Some while others you can't. Ah, damn it. He went right past there. Ooh, there's another gentleman. Hmm, here we go. Fighting a some type of wind dancer right here. Nice, very wow. Hmm. Not looking. Go. That was well played. I'm gonna give myself a clap. Very good job. 
Speaking of story videos, my wife just... But, I mean, you know, like I said, uh... I like the text. It just... They've... They made this world so well. It's Sniper Black Squad detected. I'm sorry, though, that I can't play this game more often on my channel, because it does feel like once I do this video, like, that's... That's more or less it for me. My relationship with this game will be over. But we'll have more time at Synthetic, too. But again, you know, as far as would I recommend it, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's a good one. Hmm, okay, uh... Alright, let's fire the nail gun at them. Oh, what is this? What even is this? Hang on a second. Everything is doing damage. Everything is doing a lot of damage. Oh, shouldn't have walked that way. I don't like the sniper as much. We didn't even quite get as far with the sniper. But... Do I have any suggestions on games like Project Zomboid with skill-based survival? Only things that come to mind are RuneScape and Category... Well, RuneScape is kind of like an MMO. So, I don't know if you could really make as many stories with RuneScape. Yeah, Cataclysm is kind of like it, if you can get over the graphics. But, uh, let's see if we can take something... Let's take a new class that we don't really understand. Can upgrade allies with scrap, deploys a sour, powerful sentry gun, has strong utility bow, because... I just kind of want to show off this game. This is kind of meant to be a let's try. We played as the sniper that... Well, we have the... Kind of like, uh, guardian classes. The rogue classes. Let's try uh, either a commando or a specialist. Explosive expert with high expert on high area damage with launcher preference. That seems very excite. Start the onslaught system with a light machine gun. But light machine gun seems good. Finish his enemies with his knife and collects dog tags for various upgrades. That seems kind of badass, though. Raider is the favorite. Raider? I mean, just the fact that we could take people out with melee combat. We might die. I might do another two. Just to get through all of the different, like, major classes. It could work. Commando. Oxygen not included. I don't know. I mean, I'd kind of break down all the games that I've done into, like, either colony management or survival. And those generally tend to uh, generate some kind of, like, uh, story. Yeah, they make a story. They make for narrative. I don't know, maybe, maybe I can appreciate that a little bit better. Very sharp. Okay, but we are supposed to go in like this first. Apparently. So what happens with the dog tags? This I am curious about. So if we go up here and go... Ah, uh, but that also did take out my shields because that was a explode enemy. So anything that looks like a bomb, we won't knife. Yeah, I, I must have injected myself with some sort of serum or something back there. Ah, this is going to be a very difficult to class to play, as I can already tell. But look at all that syrup that I just drank. Man. Engineer is fun, too. Yeah, maybe we'll give Engineer a try, because I anticipate that this will not be a very long playthrough, judging by how much health I've already lost. Like, look at all that I have to go through to get that. But where is our uh, indicator on the do Okay, dog tags. Kills can drop dog tags, which refresh shields based on pickup speed. Affected by scavenging, grants more benefits at higher class levels. Ah, uh, so we should have been looking at this part of the screen as well. Slink. Not bad, not bad. Heat spreader. Constantly emits a strong heat wave or a burning enemies near... Oh, so I'm... I am giving off hot. This is like the Sunfire Cape. Oh, Jesus. Let's bomb them. Okay, great. And now we got more dog tags. All right, so how many... How many do we need to do? Or oh, looter. Kills drop dog tags. Ah. So many different screens. There's a lot of reading to be done, though. It's like a smart roguelite. You know, a lot of roguelites aren't very smart, it feels like. Like, there's no reading. But if you feel like reading, there's a lot to be done. Looting and picks up current one stack of looter. Ah, so basically, doing more dog tags makes you better with everything. It seems like a very experienced class to play. I'm probably not going to do as well with it, but we'll give it a moment. Oh, this is going to bomb me. 
right. Let's use two. That took down my shields. And gave me some kind of bone. I have to read more up on that. This is useful, though, if you do run out of ammo. But look how low we are. I'm guarantee I'm going to die right away in this. That knife refresh. If only we had, like, a lower knife refresh. I could see a knife build being uh, operative, though. And stable current lightning strike. 1275. Ah, uh, mm, Bren anti-air. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is like one of the, uh... Isn't the Bren act... Ah, that was very fast death. Even faster than I had anticipated. But the Bren, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't that a vehicle from the UK? Uh, during World War II? Didn't they have a gun? I didn't know it was anti-air. But yeah, I remember that from Company of Heroes. Wow. I didn't really know that. Mm, let's try this engine. That might be kind of slow. Specialist. Specialist. This one take. Specialist. 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 LMG sentry turret or seismic resonator. That seems a little bit more difficult than I feel like a sentry turret would just Ready. be kind of more available. Internet drops after I ask for recommendations. Feel free to go ahead. I'll, uh, I may expound upon them. Guess mm. take some knowledge. Yeah, I feel like that that was a very experienced class, but you know. Just kind of want to make sure I do the game a little bit of justice, even if played badly. Just to kind of give it a full look. I've been trying to... Ooh. Sentry turret, do more work for me. I'll get the Legos. Yes, the Lego men. Great job, Sentry. Promotion. And what is this? Uh, Dragon's Master, he fires a quick short-range shotgun blast using custom drag... That looks kind of badass. Hang on a second. I'd hate to be the guy that I was trying out the gun on. Feels applied to Detroit's. Oh, wow. See, this is why I'm saying that everything is a little bit better with friends in this game. Now, what did that even do? Empowers a friendly unit near the crosshair. Yeah, a lot of this is made to be played either with a sentry turret or cooperatively. Oh, my poor sentry turret. So beautiful. Died too young. Try that. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, but this engineer feels kind of useless on his own. Like, yeah, he's going to need to hide behind some stuff. Because he's not doing too particularly well. But again, I have like this little buddy above me. I don't really know what to call him. He's my little buddy. He's my little buddy. But why do I have him? Why do I need him? Oh, drone Zell. The engine is followed by an untargetable blackjack drone firing burning laser shots. See, this I do sometimes wish I could turn off. Maybe there's a way. Maybe there's a way. Because at times this drone is a little bit like, I don't want to say nosy, but yeah, kind of nosy. But as long as you could always do that, like just deploy a random sentry turret, you might be able to get really far with this, like a Torbjorn player in Overwatch. I was fantastic as Torbjorn. Never saw anyone for most of the matches. This looks like a great spot. All right, let me just keep repairing the turret. Now, that's how an automation game player plays Overwatch. Why would I play the game if I can just get a gun to play it for me? Ooh. Mm, just made it out of the other le uh, that level. Uh, you could play with up to four. Yeah, I'm thinking that if I were to do another synthetic run, would definitely do it with some friends. But just kind of like to do these little let's try videos, like see what it's like at the beginning. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, but this could lead to some intense flicking. Keep thinking that those things are enemies. I will say a criticism now. Despite how cool it looks, it can be hard to sift through 
visual information in the game this quickly. Uh, and this is kind of a principle of game design that I learned from watching an interview that Tynan did once. RimWorld features a lot of very thick, dark outlines around objects. And if you look at games like The Binding of Isaac, which are very satisfying, kind of addicting roguelites to play, they feature a lot of thick outlines because there's a lot of fast action going on at once. It's a little harder to tell with this game. If you had a bit more contrast or saturation, I feel like that would improve it. Um, but I am not a game designer, but just more well, that is what I have observed. Multiplies chances for events, talents, attempts, uh, little hand, blah, blah, blah. We'll take the ammo because we seem to always, or at least when I last played, I seem to run out of ammo. Speaking of friends, I should do a collab with Let's, uh, oh, I think uh, it would be an honor, it would be a privilege. No, there's a lot of friends I'd like to, uh, I'd like to do stuff with. No, I've been inspired by a lot of his stuff. He makes great stuff. There's a lot of fantastic people out there. The one thing, though, that I don't like about the way that YouTube works now, um, is it's a lot of work to get a collab going. Like, you gotta find everybody's schedules. You're often working across time zones because people are all over the world. Uh... And it can just be, like, a lot of work. And YouTube, it seems to prioritize, like, these really, really highly edited narrative stuff. I like the way that people like General Sam do it with friends. I think that's a, a good a good way to go about it. Wouldn't mind doing something like that. He makes pretty good stuff. I do like it. I, I do watch. There's a few other folks I watch, you know. I keep my eyes out. I don't know, what do you like? Sometimes it's just kind of like getting yourself out of the seat of the player and just kind of experiencing the whole platform as a viewer. But I don't really like talking about the whole meta of it. I, this came to my attention and it's just, I find it kind of boring. I prefer to just kind of get immersed in them. Now I've got a bandana here. But how, where do I get the information on this bandana? Can I highlight? Ripjack Hyper would be nice to know what it did. I don't need luck, I have ammo. Yeah, the game has a lot of visual noise, but it's part of the aesthetic. It's supposed to kind of, like, mess with you. Yeah, I find that, though sometimes it's also like, you know... It's one of those games that I feel like I'd have to play for a very long time to get good at. And I think a lot of people tend to see roguelites as kind of like a quick fix. Like, you know, oh, I've got 20 minutes or an hour. Uh, unless if you're the type of person who plays roguelites for like hours and hours and hours again. I, I would see that it w it's that kind of experience. It's not really like a fast, quickly gratifying experience. Oh god. No, that was all of the damage. But just to show you how quickly everything could kind of go south. I mean, it is there. This is an intense game. It's not like, um... There's a lot of roguelites that market themselves to be like so very accessible which i imagine for a lot of kind of elite taste gamers you know people who taste the rainbow uh that they probably don't really like that so if you're looking for like a roguelite that just uh gets a little bit more involved you'd probably enjoy this what does this bandana do for me do i wear this is it like a social distancing bandana Wear the bandana for social distance. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm out of interesting things to say, but it'll start to come back. Hmm. Again, I don't think I'm really... I don't think I'm really the target demographic, so I don't think I enjoy it as much as, as other folks would. But, you know, if you like Call of Duty and you're looking for 2D Call of Duty with a lot more customization, I do, and I'll say this, nothing wrong with Call of Duty, but the game is addictive because it offers a lot of customization as you go along. There's a great incentive to keep playing, and it's exciting. It's very exciting to play Call of Duty, and as is this, for those same reasons. Probably if I had a better handle on some of the guns, I'd like it more. Ah, damn it. You know, I, again, this is what I'm very bad at, and I struggle. I'm glad that we got to that first boss, but I got through many of the different classes here. I feel as though I would like to leave it there with synthetic. 
for today. But this is synthetic. It is good. It's not my favorite roguelite, but it is very good. And if you want something that is like badass like that, it is, it is there. So, uh, let me see, uh, hmm. Dodge and no more. Di yeah, like, I think going for the dodgier builds is good. I think that we had something good going with, uh, what did we play as? Let's just go back to that main menu again. What did we have? Very satisfying. You know, I didn't talk, talk anything about the sound. Guardian. But as a child, I always kind of wanted to work for Nintendo Power. And since Nintendo Power is no longer really a thing, uh, you know, I just like to offer my worthless opinion on all of these. No, anything that I play on the channel, I feel is 10 out of 10. Because there's a lot of stuff I kind of pass on. I don't mean to sound like such a snob or a snoot or anything. 